Hey everyone, today I want to talk about an interesting compound called nicotinamide mononucleotide or NMN. NMN is a derivative of vitamin B3 that is considered a key precursor molecule to NAD+, an important coenzyme involved in many cellular metabolic processes. NMN can be found in a variety of fruits and vegetables like broccoli, avocado, tomato, cabbage, cucumber, and edamame. Emerging research on NMN in recent years has linked it to health and longevity benefits like improved metabolism, cardiovascular protection, enhanced cognition, and more in animal models. Medical studies have shown that supplies of NMN in adults decreases with age. It is suggested that supplementation of NMN will correct this insufficiency, giving the body an ample supply. Medical studies support supplementation with one gram of NMN daily. In today's video, we'll be diving into a new medical study published in January of 2024, exploring NMN's effects on atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is a chronic inflammatory disease and main contributor to cardiovascular diseases like stroke and heart attack. It involves the buildup of plaques on artery walls. In the study, researchers looked at whether NMN supplementation might help prevent atherosclerosis using a mouse model. Mice were fed a high-fat diet to induce atherosclerosis, then split into control and NMN supplementation groups for comparison. Key findings showed. The data demonstrated that NMN supplementation alleviated atherosclerotic burden, improved plaque stability, and beneficially modulated oxidative stress and inflammation markers compared to control. While promising, additional rigorous human trials are still needed to translate these findings clinically and explore optimal NMN dosing timing for potential atherosclerosis therapies. Nonetheless, this research provides compelling early data supporting anti-atherosclerotic effects of NMN supplementation in mice, setting the stage for further study on leveraging NMN for cardiovascular protection. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the recent research on NMN and atherosclerosis. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more science and medical study breakdowns. Don't forget to like and subscribe.